Riesman Vitadens 050 review. My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a full review on the Wiesman on the Wiesman Vitadens 050 combi boiler. This boiler is the 29 kilowatt. I'm going to do a full review on this. We're going to unbox it. Um, I'm going to strip it down, show you the components inside and and yeah and just show you all in general. Uh, please if you can put some comments below let me know what you think to this boiler. This boiler on the according to the Wiesman website it comes with a seven year or up to seven year parts and labour warranty. If personally I'm a trade help customer so I've got trade help the installers network I'm a trade help customer and and if you if you sign up to trade help which is free I'll add a link below in this description but at the moment at the time of doing this video so I don't know how long it'll last but at the time of doing this video you can as an installer you can extend the warranty to 10 years free of charge for your customers so you you would have 10 year parts and labor warranty so obviously this is the budget or the the cheapest of the range of the Wiesman boilers so to be able to offer your customers a 10-year warranty on that it, it is really good um, what I'll do as well in this video because it's going to be quite a long video I'll put some timestamps below um, so some people might not be interested in seeing me unboxing the the boiler so I'll, I'll start I'll do your timestamp so you can see when I'm actually into the boiler taking the case off uh, and giving my review and my opinion on this boiler and as always with all my videos it's my opinion I'll give you my opinion and it'll be my honest opinion and and it is what it is it's, it's you know it's my opinion so yeah let's have a look it's the Wiesman Vitadens and it's the 050 combi boiler and it's the 29 kilowatt boiler. If we look at the top of the box here, there's a little, little section that's cut out. And you can get the instructions out of there. So the most important part of a job really, the boiler instructions. And then there's another little flap in here. And on that side, on that side you have all the fittings. I'll just open that shortly. And if we look in there, we've just got the valves in there. This doesn't come with tails, so on the on the on like on the 100, you come it comes with tails out of it, um, so you can connect onto. So you'd have to make your own tails up on these. Also, there's no filling loop, so you'd have to you'd have to buy your own filling loop as well for this. And when we open the box, we've got the template. So that's for that's for putting the boiler onto the wall. Shows you where all the screw holes go. We've also got the condensate tube, flexible tube for the condensate pipe. You've got your ERP label. And at the top you've got you've got the jig so that just fastens onto the wall and your boiler hangs onto it also comes with some bolts so it's nice and easy to put onto the wall just drill the correct size hole put them in and that'll fix on the wall also comes with weather compensation built into the box I've put the bracket on the wall 
and I'm now going to install or lift the boiler onto the wall. Boilers on the wall now. As with all Wiesmann boilers, or most of the Wiesmann boilers anyway, there's just two screws underneath and then two screws allow you to remove the case. Please remember if you're going to remove the case on a boiler you must be gas safe registered or competent to do so. When we have a look inside here it has a seal on there and that's part of the combustion seal which means to put this back together now it'll need testing with a flue gas analyzer so you must you must be competent and you must be gas safe registered. So when we look inside here, we can see that it's got the the Wiesmann heat exchanger, the stainless steel heat exchanger. I'll, I'll strip this down shortly and I'll show you inside here as well. The heat exchanger in these, in my opinion, is one of the best or maybe the best heat exchanger out of all the boilers on the UK market. The one on the bottom here is out of the Wiesmann boiler and the one at the top is out of boilers such as the Baxi. We've got an EBM fan and we've also got a Grunfoss pump. And the Grunfoss pump is a 1575 and it's the new style high efficiency pump. And if we have a look in the back there the plate heat exchanger, very very easy to get out, it's just got one, one screw on this side here and it just lifts out, it's just in some little lugs on this side. So for working on, it's it's really good. It's also got a built in shock arrest at the back there, I'll zoom in and show you that. So I'm just going to remove the fan now and the burner door, Just I've, I've taken out the screws, I'm just going to disconnect the gas here. So that's your burner, as you can see from this, this boiler is brand new, is this boiler. So, so that's, your, that's your burner. Always make sure when you're going to do a service on one of these boilers, or any boiler really, check the, check the seal. So as I say when we look inside there, we can see we've got the Wiesmann heat exchanger. We've got plastic or composite components in this boiler, but it has got the built-in shock arrestor. Personally, I've never had an issue, and I've never known of an issue with the plastic components in a Wiesmann. If you've had any issues, please put a comment below. A really good thing with this is the blow-off or the PRV the pressure relief valve is built in, so we, you do not need to um, do um, a PRV pipe for the outside. And we've got his auto air vent there. So as you can see, working on this would be really, really easy. It's also got the rubber hoses in this model. Just remember this is the budget boiler. The new 100 has copper pipes inside. So I'd be interested to know what you think of these boilers. Um, just remember, if you if you are an installer and you are with Trade Help, you'll have a ten-year parts and labour warranty. So your customers will have peace of mind that as long as the boiler is installed correctly, the system is flushed uh, and it's it's had a good quality installation, then they will have a 10 year parts and labour warranty. Obviously they would need to make sure the boiler was serviced as well each year. Um, so in my opinion, I'll tell you what I want to do. I just want to show you the sizes, size of this as well. I'll show you the size of it and then I'll, I'll go over what my opinion of this boiler is as well.
if we look at how big this is, it's about 400 millimeters wide. And it's roughly 350 millimeters is not is the roughly the depth of it. And if you look at that, it's roughly 700, just over 700 high, 706 maybe, 707 millimeter high. Another thing just to point out on this boiler, the pressure gauge is on the front, so it's nice and easy for the customer to see, just like the other Wiesmann boilers really. So that's this boiler's a Wiesmann 100, and again, this is an old Wiesmann 100, it's about probably about six year old, and that's got the pressure gauge on the front on there as well. Um, so if we go back to this 050, so this is the Wiesmann Vitadens 050, and it's the combi boiler. It comes in a 29 kilowatt, it also comes in a 35 kilowatt boiler. What does that mean? Well, 29 kilowatts means that it will give you, if we have a look in the installation instructions, it says it will give you 13.8 litres a minute of hot water. The 35 kilowatt boiler, in the installation instructions, it says will give you 16.7 litres per minute. So what that means is, You've got your temperature, what it does is it raises the temperature of the water coming in so that if your cold water supply into the, into the boiler is say it's 15 degrees for instance on, on, them on them rises, on here, it raises it 30 degrees so it take it up to 45 degrees On some other installation instructions for other brands they'll give you the 30 degree temperature, they'll also give you a 35. Um, at a 35 degree rise, I would say, I suggest that this will probably do about, maybe about 12, uh, maybe about 12 litres a minute at that. Sometimes you need to understand these installation instructions because sometimes you could, you could, you could believe that um, boilers, are boilers are going to give you a better flow rate um, for the same kilowatt boiler and, it, and it's not normally the case it, it's just because they interpret the numbers a little bit differently um, I, I hope that makes sense but if you've got any questions on that please ask them in the comments below um, and that's that's it for, for instructions I suppose so what's what's my opinion and what's my verdict on this and as I've said before and as I'll always say it's my opinion um, and other people will have different opinions I, 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 I think that these are a really really good boiler um, they're certainly good value for money especially if, you, if you've got a 10 year warranty on them um, because they're a lot cheaper than the 100. The 100, in my opinion, is a better boiler, um, but it's more expensive. The 100 range, the Vitadens, uh, Wiesmann Vitadens 100, is touch screen display. You can do all your high and low in the screen. And it's, it really is a lovely, lovely boiler. Um, but this is, this is a lot cheaper. And it's also got the 10 year warranty at the moment if you're a trade help customer um, or if you've signed up to trade help. So, as I say, this is it's a good value boiler. And yeah, I think it's I think it's a good boiler for money. Please, if you could, put some comments below and let me know what you think to this boiler. Personally, I think that I'm not sort of fixed to any boiler brand. I just try and give honest reviews, um, even with like filters or um, or any products really. I just try and give my honest opinion. Um, and the most important thing of all, in my opinion, isn't the boiler. It's how it's installed. So flushing the system correctly, setting the boiler up correctly, um, installing it well so that um, like flow seals are in correctly and 
just having a good quality installer um, somebody who's going to take the time to do a good quality job so that in my opinion is more important actually than the boiler that you choose um, yeah and that's that's my review thanks for watching